Alpha Omega 5 Family Vacation. What do I even say about this film? Honestly, there's not much to really say about it. There isn't a whole lot of film. Okay, so this movie came out in 2015, about 40 minutes long again, so really they're starting to feel more like TV show episodes, and this one would be the boring one. One that no one cares about watching. Because this movie is the flashback movie. Within 10 minutes, we get five flashbacks to the other movie. And I hate that when they would show the first movie, they replaced the voices. Way to show respect to the franchise. But, oh, oh, it's worse. I did not catch this when I first watched this. I was looking through the first one to find out some info, and then I noticed something. There's a part of the movie where he's in Humphrey with Marcel and Patty, and he's holding on to Marcel and getting flown everywhere. Then you see a moose swab, and then he's looking like he's going right for it. But then you see he made it up on top of it and put his, puts his paws up on top of the Adler's and he's fine. But not in this movie. We see the scene in a flashback, but this time he hits a moose, then it farts on him. He falls back down, looks up, and screams because the moose has a wide stance. But yeah, they changed a scene in the first movie for a freaking fart joke. They changed a scene. Now that's how you show respect. All up, there are nine flashbacks throughout the film, and there are other callbacks too. Well, let me get to the plot of this film. So the plot of this film is Kate and Healthy are taking their pops out for a family vacation. Hence the title of the movie. <gasps> when suddenly they see two other wolves running from something, they tell them hunters are nearby and are capturing wolves to take across the country, like they did in the first film. So now it's about getting somewhere safe. Being told that the other wolves have gone into hiding into the mountains. Okay, did none of them bump into the group along the way? How did they go and hide already? What? Okay, well, I think they basically decided to hide in a different location. Idaho! You know, the place they were taken to in the first movie? So what's the point of them hiding in that place if they're going to be taken to it? Isn't that the reason the hunters are after them? I am so confused. So there are callbacks to return the characters from previous film. These two valley girls, that's what they call themselves, and that's how they act. Ah, oh, I hate them. And now we're like the main characters in this as well, and it's just annoying. It's funny as well, because they haven't actually mentioned Marcel and Patty a lot in these reviews, because I did not like them in the first film, because they were just annoying. But yeah, now we're just kind of there. <laughs> so I don't hate them, don't anything them, really. But yeah, in this film, now we've got these two who are really annoying. So I hope that they're not in it to stay. So you've got those two, the bear and the porcupine from the third movie, which I did actually mention in my last review, that they don't, like, like none of the characters from the sequels appear, but they do in this one though, so oddly. But guess what? The bear is still afraid of birds. Didn't they solve that in that movie? Ah, Movie! Ah, Movie! Come on, if you just gotta like, do a bunch of flashbacks and show all the previous movies, at least have some damn respect for those movies! And then Claudette's love interest from the third one is back and they are totally in love and it's creepy because they're kids! But Flint is all like, me and Claudette will be together forever! And it's just creepy! It's weird! <laughs> You're a kid! So basically while they're running away they bump into these characters and end up, they end up coming along because they over little cards from each movie helping them out. Neat little idea I guess but it just means more annoying characters rather than the original characters. The only two being Kate and Humphrey in this movie. The other ones have already somehow run to the mountains. So they are being chased by two hunters and end up on the train again. Here the bear needs to pee and so they hold him and he sticks his butt out to pee off the train and they sing a song. Which gets interrupted by a flashback but then goes back to singing. But it's very quick and so it's not bad but still weird that they sing as he pees. Well, Why do we have to stop to have that in the movie? Why was that scene important? Why did I need to sing as a bear is peeing? Why? So they also end up running into the old librarian girl from the first one because it's like, oh, we can take her van the rest of the way. But here we see the old librarian is lonely now because the biker dude left her. Showing us that the oddest of couples 
don't work out. Wow, movie. There was a message there in the first round, and he just completely ruined it. Good job there. Good job. Mm-hmm. But, oh, I haven't shown off the hunters yet. Or talked about them. Because, because one of the hunters is the model they use for the biker. <laughs> Good job, movie. But, like, it's not the same person, because she clearly sees him and he sees her, but they don't interact or anything. And you would think they would if they were the same person, but no, they're not the same person. They just use the exact same model and change his outfit. I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> So the Liberian is singing with all birds all around her. The bear goes ape because he hates birds and tries to attack them for no reason as they weren't even bothering him. Like they normally would, but like here they're not bothering him so I don't even understand why he goes ape. So she pulls out a shotgun. Granny is packing heat. <laughs> she pulls that out on the bear and Sticky wants to help his friend. Then ev everyone does and she passes out. They, they think they killed her, which is a little funny, admittedly. The pup ends up licking her as she giggles and scuds about almost kind of sexually. It's a little wrong. It's a little awkward to watch. She gets up and just, oh, a family of wolves, bear, porcupines. Okay, and feeds them all food and everything is okay now. The hunters pop around, as I mentioned, looking for wolves, but she doesn't tell them. Next, Humphrey shows that she wants them to drive to Idaho. Luckily, she says that the only place she wants to drive to at the moment is Idaho. Well, isn't that a lucky coincidence? So she drives them there. The hunters try to ram her off the road. Yeah, Granny A taking shit for and rams them off and drives off the path. The others get out of the van and one off. Here they are still being chased and now starting to get fired out with tranquilizers. They are running as fast as they can, but early on, Stinky got injured after he fell out of the tree. So he can't run as fast, even though when he got injured, he was shown not running for like a second. Uh, you know, obviously. Then the next second, he is running fine. So they're still running, then Huffy says that they're gonna do something and tells Kate to get the pups out of there. And then he runs back towards the hunters and kills them? Yep. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. We never see them again. The next scene, Kate and the others find a way out of the forest. Kate runs back in for Humphrey. Couple seconds pass, the others all worry that they won't come back at all. But then they both come out with tri triumphing music. And both of them are perfectly fine. But as I said, we never see those hunters again. Humphrey straight up killed them off screen. Holy shit, Humphrey. They can't call you an Omega anymore after this. Jeez, man. Holy hell. Like, how else are you supposed to look at it? The last you saw it, as he once saw it is his mouth jumping at them. Yeah, they're dead. Did not see that coming. Humphrey is a murderer. Overall, this movie is not good. Most of it is flashbacks or jokes they already did in other movies. Most of the turning characters are just annoying. The animation vote is fine for the most part. The writing is still hilariously bad though. It's the one part that kills it for me and there's a lot of writing in this movie. Oh boy, a lot. So I find this one hard to score honestly because like the scenes where they are actually focusing on the story aren't all that bad and it could have been good but I don't think it was that great. It was all pointless, but not as bad as a third movie. That was horrendous. What? So that's why I will score this movie a 3 out of 10 foxes. It's not the worst thing. It's just very boring and very pointless. But that is the end of this review. As always, tell me down in the comments below if you have seen this movie and what you think of it. And subscribe to my channel because I'll love you if you do. And don't forget to give it a like and hit that bell icon as well while you're at it. Oh man. Five movies down. Five down. Whew, I wonder what the next one has in store for me. It has dinosaurs, dancing, and is the most hated of the franchise.
Oh, fuck.